right, fellow nerds. This is it. This is the Arduino Solar Tracker that I've recently built. Um, so what do we got here? We have a little power battery. It's powering the Arduino board here, Arduino Uno. Uh, and we have various inputs and outputs into the board. Um, the inputs are four light resisting diodes, which you can see up here. Uh, the outputs, we got two servos in this Lego contraption thing, one that controls the horizontal motion down here and another that does the vertical motion. Uh, form factor is the same and there's some gears there that actually move, uh, that transfer the motion to the vertical point here. Um, so what happens here is the, the inputs, you know, uh, try and find the brightest light source. So I put my hand up here and obscure uh, the light this thing will move around until it finds a, a brighter light source. And right now it's just tracking the, uh, the overhead light here on the kitchen table. Uh, so you can see, you know, if I put my hand over here, it'll start to fall down. Uh, turn off the lights. You know, it'll, it'll track this light over here. Got a little flashlight, you can try and Get it to focus on this guy here. You can see it moving over towards me. So you know, obviously, it's not perfect. The uh, the Apple actual mechanism on the top here, this little cardboard thing is made out of a little Debbie cookie box. Uh, you know, the wires were just stuff I had lying around. These are 20 year old Legos. The servers I got are, uh, what are they? HS311. And they were actually uh, non-continuous rotation servers. They just had a range of 180 degrees. So I ended up opening those up and uh, tweaking them a little. So they, uh, they were, uh, they're able to do continuous motion. You know, I, I get a wider range there. Uh, we got a little breadboard hooked up here. Um, a few resistors just for the, uh, the diodes, the inputs. And then those feed right into the board. Uh, I'll end up posting the 15 lines of code that, uh, that end up doing it. I can describe the, the algorithm real briefly, but uh, you know, you basically pull the inputs from this guy, so you have the, the right side and the left side and the top and the bottom, and so you uh, you know you, you calculate um, a value for each of those quadrants, and then you uh, find the difference from the left to the right and the top to the bottom. And using that difference, you make adjustments, and then you just iterate over that. So uh, as you move. The servos, the, the values change, and then there's obviously a tolerance. You say, okay, how, how accurate, how precise does this thing have to be? Um, but it, honestly, it's it's not that bad for uh, for throwing it together in uh, in a couple days. I uh, hope you enjoy. Thanks.